back guys so today what we're going to be doing is a just kind of a guide on how to make a nature den because i've been making a lot of nature dens lately and nature dens are just, they always turn out really cool and a lot of these really cool naturey items are like treasure hunt items or like you can get them from the store so i just have a few disclaimers one, it might seem like I'm trying to make this members only by listing a lot of like dens that cost sapphires and like items from treasure hunt that's like sapphire animals. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say that cool dens are members only. You can make a small house and nature den, but it's a lot harder to get the aesthetic. So that's why, and I'm sure you could get someone to trade you these treasure hunt items. Like, they, they're not that rare. They're, they're treasure hunt items. Not like treasure hunt items that's hard to get, like the black spike. Like, treasure hunt items that are like, whatever. Just, it's a treasure hunt item. Like, that kind of stuff. So yeah, just, those are just a few disclaimers. And also, you're going to have to buy a lot of the same items. Which can get pricey. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't just have an unlimited flow of gems from having so many treasure hunts. And then just recycling everything you don't want. Then this might be a bit tough for you. So that's why. And you're going to just have like, pages and just constant like same items. So sorry about that. <laughs> Let me just show you all the dens that are good for getting this nature aesthetic. So, some obvious ones are the Fantasy Castle. Well, I guess it's not like that obvious, but it's kind of obvious. I'm not going to say the ancient tree, even though it's a literal tree, just because it's kind of small and kind of like hard to make the actual like den part the ridgeside cavern is my favorite it's the den i probably use the most especially because it has those like it's just so naturey although it's hard to fill these inside I these inside rooms that's kind of hard i'll admit that but look how amazing this is yeah um I had to use a lot of pathways, so. The next one is pretty obvious also. It's the Bayou Bungalow. Also, the Moonlight Manor is a good den, but I don't have it. It's out of store, so if you know, if you happen to have it, then it's really nice. If you don't, well, there's plenty of other dens you could use. I also made a pretty good nature den in here. I'd say the Ridgeside Cavern is still my favorite, though, with the Bay of Bungalow. It's a very close second. It's just, like, so magical and nature-y. I, I really like it. I don't know why I like the Ridgeside Cavern more. Just, I feel like I like the decorations I put in there more, and that's why, because it goes with my decorations more. Again, this is all personal opinion. If you feel like... The Wooly Salon is great for that. I don't know why you would think that, because oh, I didn't mean to go that den. I know what den I just tapped. <clears throat> if you feel like the Wooly Salon is so great for decorating dens, for making nature dens, that's okay. They might not agree. I don't think a lot of people will agree with that, because the Wooly Salon is, like, not that nature-y. But... <laughs> Next one, it's not that obvious, but... It's still pretty nice. The Princess Castle. <laughs> Just because of this nice outdoor area. And the fact that rainbow fountains and cherry blossom trees, which are like, my favorite for nature dens, just blend so well with it. And if you're a girly girl, then this might be the ideal den for, me, for a nature den. For you, because like rainbows are nature and butterflies are nature and they go with this, so it's kind of nice. And also, this den is really cool for doing something like this. It makes it, it kind of reminds me of the Alpha Head of Quarters. Like, this is Galaxy Llama Corn, the Llama Alpha. 
I know there's an actual Llama Alpha, but I do not remember what the heck it is. And this is Liza's second cousin. <laughs> Juno's stepbrother. <laughs> like, it's really weird. I don't know. I like it. So, another big thing is... Wait, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. So now to some cool items. I'm just going to go to the Ridgeside Cavern because I feel like I have, like, most of these items in there. You know what? Are the, like, cherry blossom trees, obviously, which are real from Treetop Gardens. The bees beehives. Just because I feel like it's kind of cool. Um, pet bees and bees beehives are no longer in store. But they're still pretty cool. Wind chimes, which are from the Tiger Treasure Hunt. Briar patch fences, which are only from the Bunnies Only Party, which is, like, never on. So, uh, my apologies if you just keep trying to track them down. You have to, like, set timers from the Bunnies Only Parties on so you can get there. I actually had to do that, which was kind of very annoying. The den portals, which I don't really like setting places. Just because they accidentally, I keep accidentally like going in them. I feel like this is a great spot to put the portal in the Ridgeside Cavern. But then you do have this like annoying, like when you're in here, have that annoying pencil thing right there. Spotted sofas, which are. So the spotted sofa is a really cool item for these nature dens. But it's only available from the Lynx Treasure Hunt. And. Links is, uh, links, I don't really know what the plural is, are no longer in store, most, much like all the cool animals. I'd say the only cool animal that's still in store is the Arctic wolf and the llama. Like, all of the other cool animals are out of store. Like, I really want an Arctic fox, I really want an Arabian horse, really want a red panda, I really want an otter, because I heard the Pex Alpha set looks adorable on the otter. Really want the sheep, really want the snow leopard, really want the deer, really want the fox, and really want the raccoon. Well, it's not a raccoon, but it's a trash panda, but really want the trash panda. We have the llama and the arctic wolf, like the only cool animals that you can still get right now. The deer, I know it comes back for the Dromolidae's. Arctic fox, I would imagine it would become coming back for the Dromolidae's. I'm not really sure about that. So the succulents, also we have treetop gardens, same with the, I think it's called the wheelbarrow planter. It might be called like wheelbarrow garden or something, I'm not really sure. One of those two. And then the vertical garden from treetop gardens as well. And the lemur lights, which sadly are only available at the lemurs only party. And lemurs are sapphire animals, so you might need to like set timers for that too. So another cool thing is the leaf chairs and just the, basically all the leaf stuff from Dream Art Furniture. Same with the mossy stone pathways, you know, mossy stone pathways and mossy stone walls I found out are literally the same item, just with a different name. So you can get them from either the, I forget what it's called, oh, Outback Imports, I just, I checked them. I had to go to the map to check. Yeah, it's Outback Imports. And also from Jam Art Furniture. Like, normal stuff. So. Do I have to wait for the dent thing to pop back up? Okay, no, I don't. So that's just some really cool items that aren't, like, stupidly rare. <laughs> I mean, the tiger flag is available from South by Shaw. This is kind of cool to put on, like, this. Thing. It's like Mossy Stone Archway, I think it's called, which is from the GMR Furniture Store. Lion Founds are pretty cool from the Lion Treasure Hunt. And also, I really like that rustic window. I just really feel like it fits the aesthetic, but um, it's stupidly rare. So we're not going to include that as one of the main things because it's, you know, stupidly rare. Another thing is, don't be afraid to use pet toys. Pet toys can be really cool, and with pets like birds and butterflies, 
the toys can be really nature-y, like the bee's beehive, which is, you know, for pet bees. It's the, it's the beehive, like, what of? Did you think it was going to be for, like, an owl? Like, owl's beehive, no, that's not going to end well. And I'm just going to go into, like, this and then just have this. I'm, not, I'm doing this on a phone, so the buttons are stupidly small, okay? See, I have elephant's hammock, butterflies, giant flower, dove's birdhouse, bees, yeah, I actually have two of those in there somehow. Some other, these look the only cool pet toys for pets I actually have because I don't like buying toys for pets that I don't have just because it's kind of annoying. Because like you have this pet toy and you want your pet to interact with it and they just won't because it's not for them. And what does a hammock have to do with an elephant? I don't understand. But, uh, away from that, we're just gonna go through the stores and see, and I'll show you what items are good. So, Epic Wonders, you'd think, would have some cool stuff, but it actually doesn't, besides the Ivy Port Swing, which is just from Jam Art Furniture. Um, yeah, Bright Patch Fences, you might want to trade someone for, but no one... I, really has a stupidly high amount like you're gonna need that's not using them in a den so yeah good luck getting a stupidly high amount also i'd say i scroll past all these halloween things to actually good stuff i'd say the leaf stuff is only pretty good um it's sunday so it's football day that's why there's weird background noise my apologies banana plants are pretty cool actually same with the orange and apple trees. I kind of like those. Um, rainbow fountains are pretty cool. You wouldn't really think that they'd be because it's like a rainbow fountain. But, you know, they work surprisingly well. So it's, it's nice. Mossy ruins is actually called. I thought it was like mossy stone archway. But no, mossy ruins. Don't try to search mossy stone archway. All the mossy stuff is pretty good. As you can see, I have 27 of those, like, mossy walls, but the mossy stone pathway is, like, the same thing. Um, oh yeah, ivy porch swings, um, might as well, like, buy a couple of these since it's their last day, or I think I'm just gonna buy one, actually, but... Yeah, daffodil and tulip patches are actually really cool. I don't know why all the paintings are going out of store, like... Probably because no one, like, literally no one buys them, but whatever. I don't want the tulip patch. I already have that. So tulip patches are cool, and so are daffodil patches. Lily pad rugs are, like, I wouldn't say they I wouldn't put these in, like, a top 10. They'd probably make their way into, like, a top 20 list of best items. So those are pretty, pretty nice as far as that goes. Um... As far as floors, I'd say if you're doing this in a small house den, I'd say go with um, the grass floor or the green summer grass floor. Maybe even the mossy stone floor. It kind of depends. Um, also, Serapia stone floor and slate floor are kind of cool too. As far as like floors and you know, from walls, I'd say either leave it or ancient ruins wallpaper. Or also other good wallpapers would just be the plain green wallpaper and blue sky wallpaper. The green summer forest wallpaper is pretty good as well as jungle leaves and leaf pattern wallpapers. I've said wallpaper way too many times and it's losing all of its meaning. Yeah, leafy print is pretty good also. But if you're not doing... If you're not doing a small house tin, I just leave the floors and walls as is. I wouldn't put anything, I wouldn't put any floors or wallpaper in there if it was anything other than those, that like a one den. And so, you know, if you're a poor new jammer or just don't have sapphires, which is like every no member, sadly. Then that's a pretty good item. And what the heck? Do you just see that glitch? Like what the heck? See, so those are some pretty cool items. Um, 
If it comes from Treetop Gardens, which for some reason does not show up on the map, and so, like, not many people even know it exists. What it does, it's in, I don't even know what the heck that was. Um, yeah, Animal Jam, like, never glitches, except for when I'm recording. Maybe it's trying to, maybe Animal Jam's trying to tell me I should do glitch compilations like Julian too, even though I do that on my Instagram. But yeah, that, this is all pretty cool stuff. But it's in, you don't know what Treetop Gardens is, and I've been saying it, and you're just like, what the heck is Treetop Gardens? You've been going crazy. Wait, they came up with a new kind of bonsai tree? Nice. I just like the bonsai trees in general. I don't know why I don't have them in my dens. I don't have them in my dens because they're tiny and they only really work in a small house den. But, like, in the small house den, they're really cool. So, it's in it's this thing in Serapia Forest, if you've never noticed it. It's kind of by roll if you go to work where roll is you just like go down these steps and then it's like right there it's not that close to the Serapia theater i don't even know why this random area is blue but you know Serapia theater and their posters with white girl really no white girl sir gilbert sorry to all you sir gilbert fans i totally butchered him and then silhouette I'm like, I don't even know what the heck that is. I would not want to watch those movies. So, yeah, that's that. And another den. I'm, so, let's just go. I'm going to show you some more dens that could be, like, I personally don't have, but could be cool. And that's not where Treetop Gardens is. It's like all the den depot. It's like all the way over there. So there's some other cool dens besides the Moonlight Manor that I don't have that are really, really cool for this. And that includes the Botanical Garden, because, you know, that's like the entire point of it. I just don't happen to have that den, because I thought it was, I didn't really like the setup. But, you know, some people might. I, didn't, I just did not like the layout overall. The, so, no, it's a Safari Manor. Which, I guess, there's not a lot of, like, grass space, but... Mm. Oh. I should just turn my butter quiz off. Why the heck are they still on? So, there's... Bay Bungalow, which I already touched on. And people are in my den. Great. I'm just gonna go in here, because, like, the den I wanted to show you wasn't even showing up. Because the Alpine Lodge is really cool. Same with the Tiger Temple. Those are just some cool dens. You know, the small house den. It's like the small house den that I was talking about earlier. So, yeah, let's say hi to the random oh. person in my den. Where the heck are they? Are they even still here? Oh, there. I see. I see. Oh, they're the person that I declined the buddy request. I feel bad now. They might have actually been a true fan. But where the heck are they? <laughs> you can't be in the video more than once if I don't see you and I can't find you. Okay, so while we're searching for them. Oh, there they are. I'm just going to mention some really cool, like, thing. Like, just tips and tricks. So, don't be afraid to make your entire den all in-store items. It's not like trying to say that you're unrare or anything. It's just people are like, oh, cool den. The, the items go together really well. It's not like, yeah, you're unrare. No one's actually going to like do that. If they are doing that, well, then they're not good. So, um, another thing is... The bunnies only party and the lemurs only party have really cool items for nature dens. Let's see, it's... Are any of those parties even coming up remotely soon? No! <laughs> yeah, those parties aren't on very often, which is uh, a bit disappointing. But, you know, that's, that's alright, I guess. I feel like the spooky party is just, like, always on right now because it's... You know, spooky. It's spooky day. It's 
Halloween. Oh, there's more people here. Yay, I'm becoming such a famous jammer. I'm becoming such a famous jammer. So yeah, just say, I'm gonna tell these people to say hi to the video, just to everyone. I know you that, that you're not a video or video, I can't spell. Yeah, so that's just really cool way to get a nature den. It's very, very nice in general. So now I'm going to actually decorate the fantasy castle. Or oh no, no, never mind. I'm not. This video is getting really long. I'm gonna do a decoration as a separate video. Bye.